what's up guys we are heading home from work early last night and yesterday my samsung galaxy s9 was supposed to be delivered it was delayed because we got about 16 17 inches of snow around here which is an absolute shame i was super super pissed off but hey you got to do what you got to do i wasn't able to even pick it up at the location nobody answered i don't know if they weren't working because of the snow whatever it is uh it, it was was what it was so now we're on the way home got out of work early going to pick it up it says it's delivered hopefully it's there we'll see in a couple minutes i'm a few minutes from home and if it's there we're gonna get into this unboxing so keep an eye out guys let's get into it and see if it's there reason why it wasn't here yesterday. Ta-da! run up these stairs get this baby unboxed for you <sighs> yes what is up guys we are going to get in to this unboxing i was so sick by the delay yesterday because of the snow but here it is in all its glory the s nine now it's still a few days away from the official release which is friday march 16th today's the 14th where i'm unboxing this and a lot of other companies have shipped theirs out but that's the cool thing about pre-ordering is you always normally get your phone well before the release in the stores t-mobile which this is the t-mobile model normally pushes theirs out really quick when you pre-order and I was fortunate to get this, but it did look like most companies did push it out around the same time. So that's about it. This is gonna be an unboxing, guys. You guys have seen unboxings probably from a bunch of people out there if you've been following the S9. I'm also gonna go over some of the specs, some of the changes, set it up, and then give you my initial impressions on the phone. And you know what, I'm, I'm psyched on the phone. A lot of people give slack for Samsung, especially with this phone, the S9. But I don't see how you can, all these other phones, Nobody's really doing too much. At least they've tried to innovate. They've innovated with a dual aperture camera. They've done some other things. They've you know, put in the dual speakers finally. They listen to people about the fingerprint sensor. So there's some, some cool things there that they've done and you, you gotta give them credit where credit's due, I think. So let's get this box open. Samsung gives you one of the nicest unboxing experiences from a cell phone company. They really do. You, you, know, you pay big money for these phones, but they give you a Great unboxing, I think. So you get your S9 right there, similar to the S8, the black box with your specs and what's gonna come inside. You wanna pop it open. You get your box, a Samsung, and then you got your tape right there. So this one doesn't have any Samsung tape on it. I mean, uh, T-Mobile tape, which they normally do. This is just a Samsung tape. So let's see, let's get that open. Oh man, little unboxing knife didn't cut it open there. There we go. Pop this open, and voila, there it is in all its glory. So you're gonna get your paperwork, same as every year with your eject SIM tool right there. See if the paperwork's any different. No, it's not, so that's gonna be that. File that off to the side, and let's pop this phone out. Boom, this is the Coral Blue model, and I really wanted this. I wanted a different phone. I always go with black, and with the Samsung phones, they scratch up really easy. Hopefully this is different with this one, but it's the same Corning Gorilla Glass 5, so we'll see how it works out. I'm just hoping they show up less on this. But damn, this is one nice looking phone. So we'll put this down to the side for a second and we'll continue with the unboxing. Get your stuff there. Get a T-Mobile SIM, which I probably have a million of these by now. You get your USB Type-C in black. I really, really, really appreciate black. LG gives you white and they get dirty. You get some earbud replacements, your charging, 
fast charging, which is Quick Charge 2.0. I believe Quick Charge 3.0 is out there. I don't know why they don't do that. Then you get your USB connector right here, so you can switch things over from USB Type A to Type C. And then you get these guys right here, some earbuds tuned by AKG, they're Samsung earbuds, same as last year they look like, but which are actually really, really nice. And that's another special thing that you get. Not too many companies are giving you earbuds included in the box anymore, and not too many companies can even take earbuds right off the rip because they don't have one of these. So let's get this peeled off. Oof, that is beautiful. This is a beautiful phone. Look at that. This is gorgeous. So I'm gonna peel this sticker off because I do not like those stickers. Get that off there, nice, nice. And we can actually shine that up a little bit. Get rid of that sticker residue. And wow, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That is one thing you cannot deny is Samsung puts out one gorgeous, gorgeous phone. They really do. Even though, you know, you get this infinity display, even though that may be a gimmick, it still is gorgeous. So let's power this baby on quick and we'll go over what you got right here. You got your volume rockers right here, which are the same color coral blue as the phone. You have your Bigsby button there. And this year, Bigsby is coming with uh, some more stuff packed into it. You got your power button right here. Swick around to the back. You get your single camera. This is a regular S9 and the S9 Plus. You get a dual camera. And that kind of pisses me off, you know, because why differentiate a small and a big model in the same series? It's not like this is a Note versus an S series. This is the regular series, S series. And it should have, you know, the same features from big to small. Because why, if you like a small form factor, do you have to lose out? Because on this one, you're losing out on the camera and on some RAM. So anyways, you get a single camera right there. You get your fingerprint scanner, which has now moved from over there to down here. And a lot of people are happy about that. Me, I didn't have too much of an issue because I always use a case, but without a case, it was tricky. You get your flash and your heart rate sensor right there. And that's another thing. How many phones do you know that come with a heart rate sensor? I do not know too many. It's just a gorgeous phone, it really is. So that's that for the phone. We'll get into the specs real quick. Coming in on this phone, you're getting a Snapdragon 845 with four gigabytes of RAM. That is, you know, pretty standard for all phones coming out this year, but it is top notch. You know what I'm saying? 845 is the newest processor and Samsung makes sure that they push it out. This is a 5.8 inch infinity, which is curved edges. So it really gives you about 5.6 inches of usable screen because these edges you can't really use and you lose a little bit. But from what I feel right here, they're not as rounded as they were, like curved down as they were on the S series of last year, the S8, the Note, they kind of reshaped it. And this seems like it has the similar feel of the Note, maybe a little bit better actually feeling in the hand. It's really, really nice. So getting back into the specs, you're gonna have Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on this with an aluminum frame. And this is a new, stronger aluminum. You've seen some of the teardowns, and this aluminum is, I think, 6310, they call it, or something like that. And it's a stronger aluminum, which actually makes the phone itself stronger and also helps from when it gets bent and stuff to keep all the ports together. So you get actually better uh, water resistance with that also, even though this is IP68 water and dust resistant. Uh, and that's another thing. They push this to the limit with the dust resistance and not IP67 like some other phones, hint, hint, Apple. This is IP68 pushing it to the limit. You get a quad HD screen, which is absolutely gorgeous, super AMOLED. You get 18.5 by nine aspect ratio, which is the new aspect ratio, but this is a little bit taller than other phones. 570 pixels per inch. Now that is, that is tremendous, it really is. Like I said, you got Corning Grill Glass 5. This is HDR 10 compliant. You get a 3D touch home button, which is down there. You get like a haptic feedback. Get your always on display. This is running Oreo 8.0 and this being the T-Mobile version, this is actually supposed to have a firmware update right off the rip and it's supposed to help with the facial unlock and some kind of a camera update. So we'll see after we get this thing started if that's the truth and if it's ready and it's waiting for us. So that will be pretty cool. 
Another thing to note with the 600 megahertz band is on this T-Mobile version. I'm not sure if it's on all versions, but if you have T-Mobile, you want that 600 megahertz band. That low spectrum is grayed out in rural areas and anywhere that they've implemented it. And it also helps penetrate buildings. Like if you're in a Walmart or a mall, things like that, it helps with that a lot. I had it on the LG V30 and I did notice in certain areas I had service and my other phones did not. So that is another cool thing right there that they do offer on this phone right here. And T-Mobile doesn't have too many phones that's offering. I think it's the LG V30, maybe the T-Mobile Revel, which is a piece of crap from what I've heard. And then you get this phone right here. So unless you guys know any other ones, let me know it on the comments, but I don't think there's too many other phones that offer the 600 megahertz band. So this comes with 64 gigabytes of onboard storage, but you can also expand that to 400 gigabytes of external storage. Right in here, you can have your SIM and your micro SD slot. So that is that is pretty tremendous. You're gonna have your speaker down here. You notice the grill looks a little bit different. So you're gonna have a firing speaker down here with a microphone. And it almost looks, oh, that's just the plastic. I was gonna say, it almost looks like it pops out like a SIM, but there's a plastic layer around that has to be taken off still. And then you're gonna also have the earpiece doubling as like a tweeter, similar to what you see in the iPhone 8 Plus, the iPhone 10, the 7 Plus, how they've been doing the dual speakers. So this is gonna have Dolby Atmos uh, available too. It's not on in the settings, so you have to turn that on after you set up the phone, stuff like that, get it all going. This is gonna come with a 12 megapixel regular lens f1.5 and f2.4 so in auto mode on this you're only going to get f1.5 after it drops down i think uh really low light but you can change that in pro mode you can switch them back and forth do what you want with them and from what i've seen the f1.5 is great in low light you're getting what they call super speed dual pixel autofocus this year it's a 12 megapixel iso sensor iso cell sensor with a dual speed super speed dual pixel autofocus so that's supposed to be really good and from what i've seen it looks like it's incredible right up there with the top phones and it looks like the um fps 1080p 60 frames per second has been fixed the focusing issues that you can see with all those shout out to Eric at Easy Com Computer Solutions, he's always doing things uh, on these computer uh, phone tests and showing that the camera on the S8, the Note 8, uh, and a couple phones before, I believe the S7, they all had 60 frames per second problems at 1080p. They were always hunting, they couldn't figure it out. So it looks to be fixed on this one. You can record at 4K 60 frames per second on this phone, which is incredible. The only other phone I think doing that right now is the iPhone 10 and maybe the iPhone 8 Plus, I'm not exactly sure. This was supposed to have HDR, 4K HDR, but it doesn't look like that's enabled, but it should be enabled because Qualcomm says that they can do it with this trip, this chipset, so maybe that will come in the future. There was some confusion saying it was in, enabled, but it's actually not, so look forward to seeing that come in in the future. You can, refor we can record 4K 60 frames per second. You can also shoot nine megapixel stills while recording 4K. That's what I've been told and that's what it says in the spec sheet. So we'll see how that goes. This has a face unlock with an iris scanner. So they're calling it a uh, new facial unlock. So there's a bunch of stuff that really goes in here, man. They have active noise cancellation with a dedicated mic. You got 32 bit audio out of the headphone jack. You got a loudspeaker with stereo speakers. You know, your typical stuff, your Wi-Fi, stuff like that. You got an FM radio band, uh, built into it. So this is really nice. You can also use this with Samsung DeX, which is their uh, computer pad thing that they use. So we'll get this all set up. I'm going to insert a SIM card, and we'll jump into it, and we'll come back in a couple minutes. It'll be all set up. Talk to you guys in a second. All right, so we're back into it. That took a while to set up. I still have everything downloaded right now, and for me... I'm not a big fan of having to set things up. I hate setting up new phones, but they do make it easy with the Gmail account and the Samsung account. Everything does it on its own pretty much. You just have to sign into a bunch of stuff and then let it download. So I probably have, uh, what have I got? 187 applications download right now. And then Samsung Cloud is restoring 41% of all my messages, stuff like that. So that's great. They do all that on their own and then I'll get all my messages loaded up on this. So man, this phone feels good. Let's bring in the S8. And for some reason, the S8 feels a little heavier. Not sure why that is. Let me see if I can unlock this quick. So we get the facial unlock on that. So they look you know, similar. 
The screen to body ratio is a little bit better on this. I think it's almost 90%. So they did stretch the screen a little bit. The screen is supposed to be a little bit more vibrant on this. They've worked on their optimization of the AMOLED screen. So it's supposed to be a little bit better. But overall, these phones, they look almost identical because they are, you know, it's not a huge upgrade from last year. So this is your gray last year, and this is your blue this year, coral blue. So look at that. Like I said, not a huge difference, you know, besides the fingerprint sensor and stuff like that, you wouldn't even notice these phones are all that different. But inside is where, and look at, I keep going over here for the fingerprint sensor. I haven't even set one up, so let me open this up quick. Wow, that intelligence scan works really, really good. It does. That was quick. That was a lot quicker than the face unlock last year. So this phone right here has the Snapdragon 845, and I'm hoping that's going to bring better battery life because you have the same battery that you had before, and some of the reasoning behind that was the new aluminum that they were using. They couldn't stretch it out. It was stronger, stuff like that. They couldn't throw another battery in. So to me, it sounds like BS. Hey, but we'll see what happens. People are claiming that they're getting better battery life because my battery life on my S8 is damn near terrible. I had an S8 before. I picked this one up, you know, only about a month ago or so, and the battery life is already crap on it. it you know, pretty much came out of the box crap. So hopefully the optimization is a little bit better on this one and I get some better battery life. So let's open up the camera because that's really where they say in this thing shines this year. Swipe left to right, switch to a new mode. Let's get out of there, turn location tags on, I like that. That's Big Z Vision down there, so that's gonna supposed to be a lot different this year too. They're supposed to, you know, it's almost like Google Lens. I just made a video about that. Go check that out if you guys are interested in that. Let's see if they can recognize what's going on here. Big Z Vision, more than meets the eye. Of course, you gotta agree to something so they can take your information. Cancel, point the camera, see what it does. And it's just going to bring you to shopping for stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's similar to what they're trying to do with Google Lens. Google Lens is a little bit better because Google has a better database. But you get the idea. So let's in there. Right now we got auto mode. And now you're swiping left to right. This is similar to an iPhone setup in the camera. What is this? Multi-take auto. Start recording. We don't want to do that. Let's go back to multi-take manual. So that's for your super slow motion. They have 960 frames per second on slow motion this year. That is right up there with Sony. Sony just dropped a 1080p at 960 frames per second. This is 720p. But from what I've seen, it looks incredible. It really does, it's so fast. And then you can do 1080p at 240 frames per second. So that's also good. They got selective focus. They have pro mode. They have panorama, food. And you can probably down, so, download some through the uh, Samsung thing. You have AR emojis and hyperlapse. So this is the AR emoji. Let's create an emoji. Let me take this right here and put it up and create an emoji real quick. See how this goes. Make a quick emoji and see what it does. So took the picture. It's supposed to be male next and then it should create it right in front of your eyes. Let's see how that works creating the emoji. Once that's done, you can customize it, stuff like that. This is another big feature they're pushing. I probably won't use it too much. So that's my character, that one or that one. Uh, and then you can go through and you know set it all up, tan, change the color of the hair, stuff like that. It doesn't seem like the, the lips sync as well as an emojis that you're getting on um, the other phone, the iPhone 10, but they also have a very intricate face unlock, uh, face detection right there. Sorry, we get a bunch of notifications from the things. But I'm gonna, uh, I'll add some photos in here of the uh, phone, samples of the phone and, and the camera, stuff like that. So I'll do this right here, see if we can find it. I'll also leave in the link a, whatchamacallit, auto enhance image analysis. Use image analysis service from Samsung Cloud to better recognize the people, so we'll allow that to happen. Then you can swipe up to see more info and it gives you all the info on it. So that's pretty cool. That's another cool feature. There's a lot of great features in this, guys. I'm really gonna go hard on this phone and show you exactly what it has to offer. This, this video is already running really long. I know a lot of you guys would be pissed off by that. But I just wanted to give you my first impressions. So far, so good. Like I said, I'll leave a couple sample uh, pictures from the camera in at the end of the video. Overall, man, I really like it. I think Samsung, so far, so good. 
has made a great thing. They haven't jacked the price up, which everyone expected this to be well over $1,000. They didn't jack the price up, kept the price the same, 740 for this. I think it's about 840 or something like that, depending on which carrier you're on and where you're getting it. But that's a great price. That's, that's the same price that this one right here was last year. And it, now it's a completely updated version, you know, new camera, new speakers, new processor, stuff like that. 960 frames per second, uh, slow motion, plus you'll get, um, what do you get? The same selfie camera as last year, what it looks like, but you get new Bigsby in it, Oreo updated to it already, which we know how that goes. Samsung takes a while. Everybody else is already on 8.1, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, Samsung, obviously they have a lot of stuff that they have to set up and get it ready. Let's see if we can go down to software update and if there is a software update. Um, let's check for an update because it's supposed to be one for T-Mobile already and it's already downloading the update. Perfect. Stability of face unlock has been improved. The stability of the camera has been improved and then some other bug fixes like there. So that's awesome. That's updating right now. I'm uh, glad to see that right away, pushing out updates already. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's on every carrier. From what I've heard, it was only T-Mobile right now, but expect to see that coming up from everybody. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. Got a bunch of cases for this. Got screen protectors. I'm gonna be doing all the accessories and everything for that. I'll have you know an updated review on this thing coming up and see exactly what it is. We'll install that later. So that was just downloading, getting it ready. And I'm just, I'm excited, I really am. I, I think Samsung made a hell of a product this year and other people can you know, agree to disagree, but I think it's gonna be great. I'm interested in it. Next time you guys see it, it will be set up a little different. This is their skin. I use Nova Launcher, but you guys can use whatever launcher you like. I'll leave some links down in the description for SD cards if you guys are interested in SD cards. And hopefully I catch you guys on the next video.